Good morning, this is the old mechanic. Today on our hobby project, our Honda CBR 600 RR, we get our hands dirty. Yep, we're gonna do the calipers. If you were afraid to get your hands dirty, zap away. Bye bye. And if you don't, keep on watching. I'm gonna show you how to clean the calipers, what to look for. Um, well, well, everything we uh, come along. So, if that's right, come along. Yeah, something like that. So, what do we need? This, to get the calipers off. Socket 12. Perhaps a ratchet, an Allen socket. Hex 5 for these. So first we're going to give the brake pad guiding pins um, a, a click. So where's these? It's a bit uh, wiggly because it's on my uh, motor lift. I don't like that thing, but to have it all good on camera, I use it for you, especially for you. Now, now. Now. We crack these loose. I'm sure. This one is also very tight. So do you. Yep. More. Hey, okay. Ah, here we. Hey, this is loose. Nah. Yet another thing. Watch. Here, God, whatever the stupid. Okay. So, as you see, this bike has uh, braided lines, and this is the race setup. It means each caliper has his own line to the the brake pump. This one okay. These are Nissan uh, calipers, really good. To get them off, just wiggle them a bit to the side. So to me uh, up and then up. You can take them off. Well, as we see, the uh, brake pads are in uh, good condition, more than enough, so that's, that's alright. Then we're going to get, always watch, there is an arrow, there is an arrow, and it always points to the direction of the uh, uh, rotating so to keep that in mind. So in this case, points down as the wheel goes like Hey Krenawa. This is wrong. Watch. Oh, this is wrong. Shoot point upwards. Mom, mom, mom. Some people. Oh, it's much. It's also rusty. Not good. This one also out. Oh. 
Opa! This one. And now the brake pads. Come. Pop, pop, pop. Dry. Dry. Mm. Not good. Put them over there. Now let's see. What I'm gonna do now is squeeze the brake lever to get the pistons a bit out so I can clean them the right way um, all the way. Not oh be careful not to squeeze them out too far. If you do it too far then all the brake fluid uh, drops out and you got a lot of air in the system. So you don't want to have that. I show you how to do it. Let's see. See? Now only one goes. Normally you can hold it by hand with your fingers. Hold it back and then hopefully the other ones this one comes out too. This, this, just some more. Careful. Yeah, deze. Beetje erin. Die met erin. Nou, die komt wel redelijk eruit, maar nog niet helemaal. Au! <laughs> Au! Sometimes, if you look a bit there, put it over here, so you can see it. This one is already a bit out, this one is a bit out, this one, but this one is yeah, somewhat stuck. So now we're gonna block this one, that we're gonna hold by hand, hopefully. So to block this, I got my piston uh, pusher. <laughs> pusher. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> See, comes out evenly. So I'm gonna get. Oh, <laughs> hopefully it fits. It does. See always fits a little bit okay if we can block only this one and then only ah, I have another idea just a moment got a lot of these rubber bands and then I'm put this one here so if you're not strong, you have to be clever. And I'm not strong. Kijk. Uh, it stays in place. Just a little bit. Now I have to block this one. So let's see. It's only to block it. So this one. Now we're gonna try to hold this one in place. <laughs> and do the push again. Yes. See? Now it comes out again. And then. Back. Yes. So. See, with a little patience and a bit of creabea, something like that. Now, I'll come out, see this uh, shiny 
edge always look if you don't see the uh, the seals come out and with this one it isn't the case Looks good. Now we're gonna clean them. To clean the calipers. What do we need? Well, we could use those uh, brake cleaner, the spray, but you need a lot of spray to clean them. So I have something special. After years of secretly developing it, first we have this one up, put over there. It's gonna be uh, gonna be messy, eh? Not Lionel Messi, eh? No, no, not a football player. Messi, greasy, nee, fish. Then I have my uh, got my toothbrush just a moment ago out of the bathroom <laughs> Sorry. no it's it's my wife's toothbrush <laughs> sorry then we got this green special developed solution see it, it smokes a bit but it's just soapy water <laughs> warm water with a little bit of uh, dishwashing soap pop, pop, pop. works really good watch show it even kijken eh? a bit so Op, ja de kant. Zo, kijk zien, ja. Dory, it looked here. Told you, gonna be messy. Expensive special cleaning fluids. No, just your wife her tooth. <laughs> your wife her toothbrush. Clean it very good and put it back. Eh? And don't say it's the old mechanic who told you. Eh? netjes uit. Ah, uh, well done. Zo, so, I think hier. Ah, ah, zo. Now we can use the brake cleaner. This is the brake cleaner I use. Just to very cheap brand I only actually I only use it to clean it a bit get the soap off a 
little bit of paper. Now, we're going to push the pistons back in. Got this tool, showed you already. This side is better. Be careful sometimes because there are four pistons. I, I can only handle two pistons at the same time. Be careful that you don't push them in and those out. Pop, pop, pop. So, see? I already looked in the reservoir that it was a bit on the low side because now we are pumping brake fluid back into the reservoir. So look at that. Now this is the first thing. Then we are gonna clean this thing too. Now we're talking uh, on the job, better do it in the right way. Eh? Yeah, this is here. It's already an arrow with up and it was in down. Watch. Uh, watch. These pins. Rusty. No. That's. Yeah. The old mechanic going to do something about this. Not good. Boys, I got a little bit of uh, sandpaper. It's the grain 280. Nice, smooth, shiny, Yes, it passed by high quality control. <laughs> yeah. Next one. Yes. These calipers have two sizes of pistons, big ones over here and just tiny bit smaller over here. So I want to get them back at the original position. And you can see on the uh, whoop, on the impression this is the big one and this is the small one. Big, small, see? So this one has to go in on the side of the disc. Over here I have the uh, um, copper grease. These are the things first. I'm going to do these just a tiny bit. Not much, just a smear, that's enough. And a tiny bit on the thread, just a tiny bit too. These ones 
are sliding in. So, first, we have the uh, impression already. So, also just and it's not too much. I see guys putting uh, almost uh, a dab and then get a. Uh, yeah, it's good for uh, squealing and uh, blah, 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 okay. But just use, I always use a tiny bit, it's enough, believe me. Even kijk, die, die, die. Then, same over here, this one. What I always do. These are the, the sides that comes in contact with your caliper. So, just a bit over here, just a bit. So they can easily slide when they want. And here, the same, not much, see? Barely visible. This one, same. Just a bit. Come a little bit closer. Now, fingers cleaning. Get the grease off, eh? You don't want to get copper grease on the brake pads, on the friction material. Even kijk, uh, these were the big ones. This one comes over here. Slide it in place. Hold it with your thumb. And then we have the other one over here. Even kijken. Then this one. There is an arrow pointing upwards. There is a mark up and an arrow. And even then, people do it the wrong way. Oops. Now we need a bit of spaghetti fingers to hold everything in place. Okay. okay. Yep. Then slide them on again. Up. Oh. Tiny bit of, just a tiny bit. Because it's aluminium, steel. And they become very good friends over time. Very good friends. What are we going to do now? is to squeeze the brake lever to get the brake pads making contact with the disc or else when we're going to do the other side and I squeeze them the pistons back it's going to go out of the reservoir and we don't want to do that so I'm going to squeeze it a little bit On my tablet is the workshop manual of this uh, Honda CBR 600 RR. Wrong pin, right pin. 
nice, nice. It was on the Italian Alps with uh, the Beamer. I got an R1200 GS and we were riding the Stelvio. It's great. If you are ever in Italy on your motorbike, you have to do the Stelvio. It's great. You're going with 50 hairpins, if I'm right, perhaps more, all the way up and then you are at almost 3000 meters high. It's, the view is spectacular. Tip. Even kijken. My very good friend, Soichiro Honda, <laughs> says in a manual, Soichiro is a clever guy. He says, the bolts, those bolts, 30 newton meters. Uh, let's see. We got my torque wrench. And then, are we gonna put it to, even kijk, there's 30, there's 26 plus 4. Is uh, 30. Yep. Put this on the kant. One, I have friends. One, two, one, two, and my crayon. Check, check. So, then these one, these sliding pins. Oh, here is the... Actually, you need to torque them and they are at 18 Newton meters. So, we need another... If you kijk, uh, this... The lowest is 19, so we need another one. Another one bites the dust. So. This is a smaller one, goes from 5 to 25 newton meters. Uh, we need to put it on uh, 18. Yeah. D and D. Check, check. That was all. Don't forget. Yeah, it was it was loose. Yeah. It was slecht. Very slecht. Not too tight. Good fast now. <laughs> ah. Job done. Now I'm gonna do the other side. It's the same as this one.